Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name's Inside A Gamer, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with my tutorial series, and today we're going to be looking at RNAV approaches, that's what we're going to be looking at today. So RNAV is a method of instrument flight rules that navigate directly to and from the beacons. This can conserve flight distance, reduce congestion, and allow flights into airports without beacons. Area navigation used to be called random navigation, hence the acronym RNAV. So we're going to be doing an RNAV approach today in our Cessna. Now it would work for any of these kind of aircrafts, it's all kind of the same thing. So we did the ILS with the Grand Caravan, where we went from Galway Airport to Knock Airport, and we're going to be doing the same. We are here today in Galway, it is pretty bad weather, so this might be a reason why you might choose an instrument approach, because the weather might be pretty bad, misty, foggy, etc, can't quite see where you're going. Uh, this is why we would use our instrument flight rules. So what we're going to do, we're going to get into the aircraft here. Um, I'm going to turn it on, it's not going to be in any particular way. Um, so don't don't be thinking oh that's not how you turn on a Cessna I get plenty of those comments okay so we're just going to turn it on here and at the minute what we want to do we want to set this approach now I'm going to bring up my navigraphs here quickly and this is our approach uh, for today this is our sheet this is our chart uh, obviously I get mine from navigraphs I do highly recommend navigraphs a lot of people don't want to pay for it there are freeware stuff there uh, I can leave links in the description down below. So anyways, what we're going to be doing uh, with the ILS tutorial, we came in this way on ILS uh, 26, uh, but this time we're coming on runway 8. Uh, so we are coming from the west. And basically we want to be taking, we are coming down from the south, coming in via the west. Um, so we want Oldham or Mapot, really. Realistically, these are the two that we should be looking out for once we program it into our GPS. Um, and then uh, KN004, of course, look, it's too far away. Why would we go all the way up there to come back in? So look, this Oldham is the approach that we're really looking for here. I don't want to go into too much here into details with these charts. There is a tutorial about chart reading coming up very, very soon. But just a couple of things that we need to look at. Look, make sure we have Island West Airport, which is Knock Airport. We have the RNAV approach. That's the chart. This is I've got the right chart. So as you can see here in the charts, we have the VORs. There we go. So the VOR is a little bit different. Um, we came in on the ILS the last time, ILSB, there is an RNAV for this one as well. Um, so make sure you are picking the correct one, and of course we are the RNAV runway 08. Okay, so at Sitco, we need to be at 3,000 feet, as you can see here, this is Sitco. So as we come in for Oldham, we have to make sure we descend. Now, we won't be, we, we, this is not a long flight, it's about 20 minutes, so uh, we'll only probably be flying around 3,000 feet anyways. And then once we make our turn, we start coming down. We need to make sure that we, we're at 2,000 feet by TIPMO. We have to be at 2,000 feet. This little X here, that is the glide path. That brings us down onto the runway. <coughs> now, difference between ILS and the uh, RNAV on the RNAV. This is known as a glide path. And if you're on an ILS, it is known as a glide slope. So we're going onto the glide path. Okay, so down here you have your minimums. Um, these are the kind of lights that we're going to have at the airport. Uh, we know if we have a missed approach, we need to go back to 5,000 feet. So that's what it's telling us here. So you've got different uh, information here about minimums now knock airport is actually quite high so these minimums seem quite high uh, but that's because the airport itself sits quite high up it's kind of on a big hill um so we're looking around 890 is our minimums uh, 890 feet if i do not see the lights to the runway we would have to make a missed approach that's what we're looking at here today so look let's program we're looking for oldham let's program this so we'd hit procedures and we we'll press enter and select our approach oh, of course at the moment it's got our vor dme at eight um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to flick that round with the small cursor. And you're going to see this is all our approaches that we have here in our GPS. And we are looking for one near the bottom there, RNAV8. So we go back to the big circle, go down to RNAV8, and press Enter. Now, it's given us the transition of KN004. We know that that is not good for us. So we're going to press it. And we are going to navigate ourselves down here. And then we're going to turn on the little one. So we've got Mapot and Oldham. We know that Oldham, or Oldham is what we're looking for here. But again, we're just going to scroll down and press Enter. Okay, so we're pretty good. We're going to press it one more time. Go down, and I want to load this in. 
We want to activate it. We're going to load it in. And there we go. Our approach is now fixated in the GPS. So our nav navigation is fully GPS. So, you know, as we came in on the ILS, we were looking for, you know, the VORs to make sure that they were coming in. This is all done by GPS navigation. So we do not have to change our CDI from the GPS. That is probably one benefit of this. It makes it very, very easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just come up to this VFR map. We're just going to make sure that the approach has been put in. And it has. There we go. So we're going to go fly into Oldham, Sitco. Okay, into EIKN, Knock Airport. So look, very, very short flight. That is perfect. Okay, so that is all set up. What we're going to do, we're going to get in the sky. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to see you once we start hitting the approach to Knock Airport. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we're just hitting the approach now. We've just gone past our Oldham. If we bring up our navigational charts, you can see here, Oldham, we've just gone past here. We know at Sitco, we need to be at 3,000 feet, which we're going to be. And at Timpno, we need to be at 2,000. So we can start setting up the cockpit now. I try to stay busy during these uh, these times. It's the best way. Keep checking everything, make sure your lights and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring our altitude here down to... Not the back one at 2,000. So it's ready to go. All I have to now do is hit flight level change and it's going to drop down to 2,000. That is the very first thing. We can see that the glide slope here has come up. Or the glide path, sorry, because we're doing GPS, not ILS. My apologies. Um, so there we go. We know the other thing about these GPS things, Oldham to Sitco, we can see it here. We know that we're 2.7 miles away from the next point. Uh, so it's nice that we can actually see all that kind of stuff. And now, of course, you'd be talking to ATCs. They might bring you down at different times, etc. Uh, I don't use the ATC on the game myself personally, I don't really like it, I use Pilot 2 ATC, um, which is a great program, but uh, for the sake of the tutorial, we don't have any ATC, so we're just going to come in and do what the charts say to us, get down and land. But obviously, we make sure we have, by this point, we need to make sure we have our flaps set, approach on, uh, at, at this little exit, lights, all that kind of stuff have to be ready. Remember. 5000 would be our missed approach so once we've actually hit the approach we could change our GPS for that so we can climb again um, and our minimums like I said about 890 feet if we cannot see the runway we will have to do a missed approach uh, it's quite high because the airport is pretty damn high so that we can see with the moving maps with the navigraphs this is one thing I love uh, you can see where we are uh, so we've plenty of time to get to tip mode so we are now going to start making that turn so once we start making that turn, we will hit the flight level change. Get down nice and early. The rain is starting to beat it off us again. Hopefully we're going to get a nice smooth landing. Hopefully it's not going to be too windy. Okay, we're starting to make the turn now. We're going to come down here to our flight level change mode. And let's connect that on. Let's take out some of the power that we can drop down to our 2,000 feet. Lights and all that are already set, all ready to go for landing. We'd be getting our clearance, hitting on to final, etc, etc. We can see that the, the glide path here. We'll see this moving around in a second. Quite a little way to go till we get to tip mode. And uh, of course, the next thing we would be doing is keeping an eye out now. Can we get a visual on that airport? Tell ATC we're coming to land in visual on the runway, but we cannot. We know it's here. There it is. Um, so we are coming up to it. Again, we can bring up a chart so you can see we're still a little bit out, not too far away. Uh, GPS, we are 3.3 miles now, nautical miles from that point where we'd have to be down. We're already down through. Uh, 2,300. And it'd be handy if my flight director was on. There we go. And we can see now this uh, the glide path is starting to move. So we will be getting ready now to just hit the approach. Approach is now on. So that will now capture that glide path for us. Once it kind of lines itself up. You're going to see that the plane is going to start doing its own thing. Now we need to start concentrating on speed and we need to start concentrating on looking for this runway. You can see we are down nice and early. Speed's at about 80 knots at the moment. That's not a bad speed. We want to be coming to landing around 60 knots. And 
and we're gonna watch the plane the plane's gonna start doing its own thing now it's gonna start jumping up and down once it hits the, the glide path it'll start doing its own thing we can now set flaps to one as we're under a hundred again trying to keep an eye out here can we see any lights or anything no still nothing a bit far out still Now one thing I do recommend with these kind of approaches is that you know when you're about a thousand feet out if you can see the runway take over nice and early don't let this bring you all the way down a lot of people always tell me oh, I always lose control of my landings even with the ILS's and stuff um, I find that you need to get early control of the aircraft and feel how it flies so you know when you come in you know you're not you're not dying it to the left or the right you're just making minor corrections at that point that's what you should be doing as you can see it's hit the glide path here you can see it's now bringing us down lovely our minimums like I said 890 so we're pretty good here just keep an eye on our speed don't be going too slow we can drop a little bit more speed out of here maybe we can now put set flaps full for landing nice so like i said always try and take over control a little bit early um for myself uh, what i'll do just for this tutorial i'll bring you in pretty damn close um before taking over um, but it might be a bit of a, a floater of a landing but don't be scared to take over the aircraft get a good feel for it early on it's good practice the only way you're going to get better at landings a lot of people just think they can just do this to bring them all the way down to the ground um, and they don't have to do very much look the whole fun of this game is the takeoff and landing so practice 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 we can see it's kind of lining up a little bit dodgy here to the left i think it'll be okay um we know that microsoft flight simulator is not perfect when it comes to this kind of stuff coming in nice and slow there, there is no rush bring us in on the glide path the main thing now we need to see is we can now actually set our altitude if we wish to 5000 in case we have to go for a missed approach getting very close to the minimums now 1200 feet knock airports quite high so we should start seeing some lights very very soon hopefully otherwise we will be going for a missed approach I think there are lights there but I, I can't see them myself Bring a little bit more of that speed out now. There we go. We can see the lights. I can see the runway now. So we kind of have a visual. Not, it's not perfect. Um, but look, it's good enough. We can see the lights. So for myself, I'll be happy to land in that now. We have we have a visual on the runway. Here we go. 500. And you can see 500, but it says 900 here because we are so high. That's why the minimums are so high. So there we go. It is bringing us in nicely here now. I would usually take over myself uh, way before this um, but what I'm going to do like I said for the tutorial we'll let it keep bringing us all the way down it is quite windy this is going to be a tough landing I think guys um, and all we need to do is get ready to flick the autopilot off this is going to bring you in perfectly there's a nice building here at the end the high trees you can see it's bringing us in look at that absolute perfect guys a little bit more of the speed out we can disengage our autopilot and we'd obviously just flare up a little bit for the landing so it's floating a little bit because of the wind there we go perfect landing here to knock airport guys uh, the aircraft slowing down we'd start using tow brakes of course very windy out here but there we go that is a r nav approach uh, these are probably some of my favorite approaches um, that I probably use more on even on the bigger aircraft myself uh, it's good fun to learn and uh, yeah there we go guys so we have our landing at knock I'm not gonna go all the way up to the terminal because it is absolutely miles away put the handbrake on there have a little look on the outside so on that poor weather that is what our nav is good for you know we wouldn't have got a good visual onto that runway until the very last second um, which we've pulled off the flight nicely we've landed safely perfect guys and there you go so I showed you how to use the charts a little bit better and an R nav approach. If you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, hit that like button as well. Um, if any of you want to come join the Discord, link in the description down below. If any of you want any flight tips or help, or even to just share screenshots or fly multiplayers, etc., uh, Discord's a great place to catch us. Um, so yeah, other than that, for myself, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.